bought an old bike on Facebook Marketplace for $15. I'm going to paint it and turn it into a planter for my front yard. I start off by taking my bike apart. This can be a little tricky because these old bikes are kind of rusty and the bolts are really stuck on there. So if you have any problems getting the bolts off, I use a little bit of WD-40, sprayed it on there, let it sit for a minute, and that seemed to work. Um, if you can't, this one's really hard to get off as you can see. <laughs> um, I keep just messing with it and it finally comes off. But if you have to ask for help, there's no shame. Just grab your husband or someone really strong and get them to help you. But I was able to get them all off by just using some WD-40 and muscle power. I decided to take the chain off the bike. I'm not going to need it. I'm never going to ride this bike. So I just took it off. It makes it easier to paint and put the tires back on. So I just used some bolt cutters and a lot of muscle and cut it off. We have a lot of beautiful trees in our yard, which is, we enjoy, but it makes gardening very tricky because there's a lot of plants that don't do well in shade. So this is why I want to create a cheerful bike that I could put in the front yard and rotate beautiful flowers in and out of it. So there would always be something cheerful and bright there in that space. I cleaned my bike really well with crud cutter and then just rinsed it off with a hose and let it dry in the sun. The bike seat was pretty messed up so I just decided to improvise. I ripped off the remaining um, material that was on the metal seat and I have come up with an idea to give this a fun look using an IOD transfer. I sprayed the whole bike with this clear enamel that stops rust. Okay guys, it's time to get out the spray paint. I put two coats of paint all over this bike. I'm using three different colors, a white, a lime green, and then like a deep forest green. I'll list all the colors below, but this step is what really makes this bike look bright and cheerful and it covers up all that rust. It's really going to look different in the end. Just be careful, you're gonna be using a lot of paint, so be sure to do this in a well-ventilated area. And I actually took an extra step and wore my respirator mask the whole time too. Okay, this is the perfect use for all those junk mail campaign flyers that we have laying around. So I'm gonna use the IOD transfer called Wonder on the bike seat that I talked about earlier. It's gonna add these beautiful floral designs and it's gonna make it look really pretty. I'm also gonna add this transfer to a plastic planter box that I'm gonna add to the back of the bike. IOD transfers aren't really made for outdoor use, so you will want to protect your transfers from fading from UV light. So I applied two coats of a UV protectant spray and then I applied two to three coats of an outdoor polyurethane spray to protect my transfer from the elements. Great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. La -la 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 -la. 